The following ones convert a string to all uppercase letters or all lowercase letters. ListName.upper with empty parentheses and ListName.lower with empty parentheses. The one below will split up pieces of a string into elements of a list based on when it finds a particular character. So ListName.split and then you put the character inside the parentheses. Let's do an example. Start with this string. Word equals hello my name is. Word equals hello my name is. We can store each word in the string in its own element of a list like this by using this code segment, word.split, and then inside the parentheses, inside the quotes, we have one space. The character that separates the words is a space. There's a space here, here, and here. So that is what we put inside the parentheses. So we have word.split, and then inside the parentheses, we have a space. Now, if we were to print word, it would just say, hello, my name is. And that's because this doesn't alter this variable. We could take this and put it inside of the print statement. So we need to do something with this. We can't just say it and then move on. We either need to put it inside of a print statement or we can just save it back into the word variable. Now, this word variable is going to hold a list, as you can see, of four items with four words. Now say we didn't use a space, say we used uh, M. What do you think that would do? So now it's gonna split based on where M's are in the string. So it's gonna have three strings broken up by where the M's are. So hello space, and then Y space N A, and then E space I S. Very cool. One last useful tool with strings is that, just like lists, we can search through them to see if a particular substring exists or does not exist in a string. A substring is part of an existing string. For example, what if you want to search the sentence below to see if the word calm is in it? The girl felt a calm wind on her back. You can use this code segment. Here we have the string saved into sentence x equals calm in sentence, so this is going to be the string to be checked. The word in is going to check to see if this substring exists within this string. Calm, in quotes here, is the substring to be checked for, and then x is going to hold a value of true or false, depending on if that substring is in that string. This segment will output true since calm is in sentence. Likewise, we can check that something is not in a string by using the keywords not in. The following will output false. So x equals calm not in sentence. Let's see. Not in. And now this is false. If we just have in, it is true.